Hi, I'm Christy Bilbrey, and I am a marketing strategist. As a small business owner, I've had to learn so many tips and tricks when it comes to marketing tech and communications and everything that goes along with having a business online. So I love helping other business owners save time. I wanted to share something that I learned how to do in Gmail, which is creating email templates. Did you know that you can create email templates? It's super simple. So for all of those questions that you get asked all the time, or maybe parts of your process where you feel like you're sending the exact same emails out over and over to new people, wouldn't it be great if those were already done and didn't take up any of your time? Well, I'm gonna teach you how to do that today. To get started, you are going to go right here on top to this gear icon for your settings. Click on that and click on see all settings. And then you're going to go across to the advanced tab. Click on that and you'll see templates as an option. All you have to do is click enable. It's already enabled on mine, so I don't need to do that. But you would just click enable and click save. And after you do that, that's it. Now you are ready to create templates. Let's go ahead and create one. You're gonna to go to compose just like you would for any email and you are going to give it a subject line. I'm gonna keep this really generic for the purposes of this tutorial. And I would definitely include more than this, but let's just keep it easy. And then you'll see that I have an auto signature, but I wanna make sure, this is a tip I would give you anytime you're creating a new template, if you have an auto signature already set up, remove it from your template. Otherwise, when you create a new email and it pulls everything from the template, it would pull that auto signature, which would mean that your emails would have two of them. We don't want you to send two auto signatures in your emails. So just make sure you delete it from the template. And then once you have everything that you want to write, you're just going to go down to these three dots in the bottom right. You're going to click on that and click on where it says templates and save draft as template. Save as new template. And then I'm just gonna leave the name that it currently has and click save. That's it. And then you can just delete this email draft and now let's put it to work. Let's see what happens. So if we compose a new email, go back to those three dots on the bottom, go into your templates and you'll see the one that we just created, business inquiry. And it's just gonna populate what I already have in there. So now all I have to do is personalize. Let's say I just add the person's name. See you on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Whatever it is, however you're gonna personalize it, add their email address and then click send. That is it. It's really that simple and you can create as many of these templates as are helpful for whatever questions you're asked most frequently or processes that you run all of your clients through in your business, whatever makes sense for you. This can be a great time saver. And then let's say you created a template that you're no longer gonna use and you don't want it just adding more <laughs> templates than you need to scroll through. Then you can go back to those three dots and go into templates and see where it says delete template then you would just delete whichever one or whichever ones you want. And yep, we wanna delete it, that's it. So now you know how to set up your Gmail account to enable it to create templates. You know how to create templates, you know how to use them, and you know how to delete them. I hope you found that helpful. If you would leave a comment below and let me know if that helped, or any other questions you have about Gmail or G Suite that you would like me to create a tutorial about, 
please let me know. And if this was helpful, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more marketing tech tutorials. Thanks for watching.